Earlier today, we spoke with people who waited in line overnight to get vaccinated in St. Johns County. Some were frustrated. Turn it into first come, first served <clears throat> makes it a bit of a free for all. And <clears throat> the information we needed wasn't all that readily available. I feel that, that maybe the people who are needing it most aren't getting it first uh, yeah. with a system that, that operates in this all way. Right, News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller was there today with hundreds that waited for the coveted shot. People were camped out here in St. John's County in a line that stretched for more than three miles. I spoke with the first woman who was in line waiting for more than 15 hours. She says there needs to be fairness and transparency in this process. Joan Tischer says it was worth the 15 hour wait to be first in line to get the shot on Saturday morning. Uh, fabulous. I feel like I won the lottery behind her hundreds of others hoping for the same chance and I arrived at 630 because there's very few safe parking spaces. That's why I called the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office because it was in fact dangerous. Deputies were sent out immediately to redirect the people who were blocking the road around 830 in the morning. The health department passed out armbands to the first 600 people and turned everyone else away. We feel at one and the same time privileged but a bit concerned. We were lucky, uh, we were able to get here, but many won't. And that's a concern, I think, for the public in general. Zaheer and Janet Jamal both got the first round of the Moderna shot after waiting 13 hours. Their concern for others who are considered the most vulnerable who can't camp out all night long. When do you come back? Uh, we're the told the 30th. 30th. Did they tell you exactly if you have to notify them? Will they call you when you have to come back? What's that process? It was very, it was very unclear. What does the process look like for the second dose? At this time, we don't have information on when that allotment will be coming to St. Johns County. And if it's available within the community, they can go to a provider that would be carrying that particular type of vaccine. Will you be contacting them or should they contact the health department? It's probably best if individuals do reach out to manage their own care. If you take a prescribed blood thinner medication Medication, you must have a doctor's note to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccinations start here in St. Johns County tomorrow at 9 a.m. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.